So I'm Dr. Tim Butcher with the Division of Neurology at the University of Alberta, and I'm here with my patient, Charlie Carnell, who suffered an acute stroke back in July. You can see that, in fact, he did have blood vessels filling with blood on the left side of his brain in all areas except this one area right here. And this is what we call collateral flow. And then we actually used another technique to make a map of blood flow to the brain. And on this map, these dark purple areas represent areas where the blood flow is virtually zero, and those are areas that are going to die. But you can see these areas out here where they are colored lighter blue. They're certainly different than what we see in this normal brain over on this side. Blood flow is low, but not so low that it couldn't be rescued. And again, these are areas of the brain that were being supplied by collateral flow. And it was this picture, really, that gave us some reason to hope that we could rescue a lot of the area that was going to stroke if we didn't do something fairly quickly. And Charlie's wife was courageous enough to consent to him being enrolled in one of our clot-busting trials where we used a drug called Tenecteplase to open up the blockage of the artery. And what we did was we saved all of this brain here and all of this brain here. And what Charlie was left with was a much smaller stroke than he would have suffered. And he actually began to improve within a couple of hours of receiving the drug. He began to get some words in. The next day he was able to move his right side, and we were able to have a difficult conversation, but a conversation nonetheless a day later. And he went home just a few days later under his own power. And he's been making steady improvements since that time. He's now completely independent, which is really what we're aiming for any time we see somebody with a stroke. And now we're working on getting him back to work. And Charlie, how do you feel about some of the research that was published in Lancet Neurology? What does it do for stroke patients and their families? Well, it should just help him. All stroke patients that come in with that, I mean, it's a great thing that they come there. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it should help everybody that's in a stroke like that. Thank you.